Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the Relationship Guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into the video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out with any questions, concerns, or anything that you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general, okay? And also, my brand new Girls' Night card game is officially out it's out now it's out now y'all it's out now on my website link will be in the description below also and you can get this card game if you have a girls night or whatever it got a whole bunch of cool questions on it that you can have fun conversation starters scenarios questions that you can ask your friends so this will be in the description below as well my girls night card game okay all right so that's out the way okay we're gonna jump right into this video and this video is titled how do you get a man to invest in you Okay, so how do you get a man to actually invest into you, right? Because it's a lot of women that they want to know, how do I make a man obsessed with me? How do I make a man just want me? How do I make a man just need me? How do I make a man just, he can't sleep, can't eat without me. He's always putting in effort. He's always trying. How do I make a man invest into me, pour into me? How do I get a man to pour into me, to invest into me, right? Okay, ladies, so I got two ways how you can make any man invest into you. So the reason why you will want a man to invest in you at all, period, is because you want him to invest into you so that he can chase his investment, right? First of all, anytime you invest anything, you want to get something in return, correct? So when this man invests into you, he's going to want something in return. And then also he's going to be chasing his investment. So the more somebody works hard for something and invests into you and works hard to get you, he's going to do more to keep you and he's going to do more to keep chasing after you. If you want a man to chase after you and you want a man to pour into you, you want him to keep trying, keep putting in effort, then you need to make that man invest into you. Now, Sid, you may ask me, Sid, how do you make a man invest in me, right? Okay, so there's two ways how you can make a man invest in you, like I said, all right? Number one, the first way how you can make a man invest into you is by time. So, overall, when a man spends a lot of time with a woman, no matter, even if he didn't really like her in the beginning, maybe he was kind of like, ah, uh, she cool, I don't really know if I really like her or not, or whatever, or maybe he has some other... Things, other things going on. Maybe he was talking to other women or other other things in his life, other priorities. But, you know, when he started spending a lot of time with you, now, a lot of times, when a man spends a lot of time with you, that will make him want you more. That will make him more obsessed with you because it's like, I'm investing my time into you. Time is the one thing that we can never get back, right? So, if you can get a man to invest time into you, then you really got that man wrapped around your finger because you got all his time. If you can get all his time or you can get him to, to spend more time with you, to chase after you, to, to, to come to you and to want to hang out with you, want to do things, want to take you out on dates and stuff like that, or want to just spend quality time with you, you know, that is how you can get him to invest into you. You want him to spend a lot of time with you or a good amount of time with you so that anytime you spend a lot of time with somebody, you naturally grow an attachment with them because you start getting used to that person. So you want that man to start getting used to having you in his life. So when he gets used to having you in his life, then when you go away or you leave, that's going to make him be like, oh, well, dang, like my life was so much better, so much happier when that woman was involved in my life and now she's gone. Now I got to get her back, you know, or, or, or when some days go by and y'all haven't seen each other, it's going to make him want to see you more because it's like, I had such a great time with that girl, with that woman. And now that she's, you know, it's been a couple of days and maybe, you know, just in between dates and stuff like that, or in between times when we hang out, I'm starting to miss her more. I'm starting to want her more. So you always want that man wanting more, wanting you, right? So that's how you make that man invest in you. So just time. Time is the number one thing you can never get back. So you need to have that man spend a lot of time with you. Because when you spend a lot of time with him, then those, those dopamine chemicals in his brain are going to go off. And he's gonna, just going to be all just happy and joyful when he's around you. Cause, and then he gets used to you. And then when a man feels like he's used to you, he's never going to want to leave you. So that means that he's going to keep putting in effort to keep trying to get to you. Because you are the woman that he wants. Because he's always spending so much time with you. 
So now he's like, he can't even see, or he don't even want to see other women because he's you're you're occupying majority of his time. You know, so he not even worried about no other woman because he more so is 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 more enticed and wants you. You know, he's more influenced with with you and wants to be around you. So that's what you want. So that's number one, right? Okay, number two. The second way how you can get a man to invest in you is by money. So, of course, when you get a man to invest in you, he's going to want a return on his investment. When he wants a return on his investment, he's going to chase after you and chase after his investment. Because anytime a man does something and puts something in, he wants to get something out of it, right? So, you want a man to invest in you. You want a man to take you out on dates. You want a man to buy you gifts if he can, if he does, right? If he buys you gifts or like trips. You know, just anytime he can spend money on you or on the outing that you guys or on a date that you guys go on, then that's how you get that man to invest in you. Or, you know, something simple as in him just coming over to your house, like him driving over to your house. That's an investment. He had to pay for his gas to come over to you. So that is an investment. Or if, or if he picks you up to go on a date, that is an investment because he drove use his gas time and money right to to come over to come get you and then he got to use some more money to spend on you on the date and he's also spending time as well as the money so the time and the money can go hand in hand because a lot of times when you spend time with somebody naturally outside of the house unless y'all just go to the park or something you know or let or y'all just window shop at the mall or something you're going to be spending money so he so you so you got him double time and money so if you can make that man invest his money into you, then he will want a return on his investment. Because, you know, money, you work hard for your money. And men work hard for their money. So when a man spends money on you, he's going to naturally want a return on his investment. Whether that be just sex from you or whether that mean he does, he just wants to have companionship and sex with you. I mean, of course he wants to have sex with you if he's attracted to you. Either way it go. But he's going to want a return on that investment. So, you know, he might he might want to see he might just want sex. He might have those men that just want sex and they might, you know, spend money on a date in hopes of sex, you know, or whatever. And then there are some men that of course they do want sex, but they want more out of you. Like they actually want to build with you, right? Cuz of course he wants sex if he's if he's sexually attracted to you or if he's attracted to you period. Of course he wants to have sex with you. That's any man that comes in your way. Any man, you can't avoid that. Any man that's attracted to you wants to have sex with you, right? But you know, you just want him to invest into you as far as just taking you out, period, right? So if he takes you out on dates, if he takes you out on trips, if he takes, if he buys you gifts and stuff like that, then he's going to want a return on his investment. So he's going to keep chasing after you. He's going to keep blowing you up, hitting you up, wanting to see you, wanting to kick it, stuff like that, because he needs to get his investment, his return on his investment. So that's what he wants. So ladies, those are the two main ways how you can get a man to invest in you, especially the time. Time is probably the, the first way because a, a man's money, man money come and go. Yes, you work hard for your money, but money comes and goes. And I mean, you know, he can always get his money back. You know, he can always go to work or do whatever and get his money back. But one thing you cannot get is your time back. So when you take a man's time away from him, he will be consciously just obsessed with you because I'm spending all my time with this woman and I really like her and, and I, I can't even see my life without her because I got so used to her. So that's how you make a man obsessed with you and that's how you make a man invest into you, right? So time and money. So definitely heavy on the time and then try to get him to spend some money on you. If he spends some money on you still, he's still going to want to return on his investment. So it's up to you as a woman to just keep that cat and mouse kind of chase a little bit you know because the more you can get a man to invest into you the harder he's going to try to 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 keep you and to be with you and he's gonna put in more effort because he's he's chasing after you right but if a man does not invest into you then he's not going to put in any effort into you because it's like i didn't and, and then and then if you're giving him all your benefits without him investing into you first then now he's just gonna take all your benefits and now you're going to be the one chasing after him because he took all your benefits, but he don't have to put in nothing to get those benefits, right? So he don't have to invest nothing into you to get nothing out. If he just gets everything he wants out of you, then you're not going to have, he's not going to have to do anything. And that's going to make you in a weaker position. So you never want to be in a weaker position. The way you be in a stronger position is when you get a man to invest into you. You want that man to invest into you. And also when it comes to that is like with time, 
you know, you want the man to, to call you majority of the time, text you majority of the time, initiate that first call, that first text. You want him to do that. You, I mean, you can go back and forth and you can, you know, hit him up here and there and say good morning here and there, but you want him to do majority, 80%, almost 80 to 100% of the pursuing with you, right? So that he's consciously and constantly chasing after you, right? So, ladies, that's how you make a man obsessed with you and that's how you make a man invest into you. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Get my brand new card game. It's out now. Link is in the description below. And I'm out of here. So, to the next video.